Hi, my name is Fela Moleri. In this video, we're going to talk about upgrading from vSphere 5.5 to vSphere 6.7. So a couple of points before we begin um, that are going to determine how far in the upgrade you can actually proceed and whether you may need to stop at 6.0 or 6.5 and or go to 6.7. So vSphere 5.5 goes end of general support later this year in September. So it's important to, to realize that and to plan your, your upgrade before the end of September. vCenter 6.7 cannot manage ESXi 5.5. So we'll have to keep that into consideration during our upgrade process. There's no direct upgrade path from vSphere 5.5 to 6.7. We will have to go to either 6.0 or 6.5 first, before then moving on to 6.7. Throughout every stage of the upgrade, we need to make sure that our hardware is compatible and also check our interoperability, both with first-party products and third-party products. So let's begin. So we're going to start with a Windows-based vCenter running 5.5. Attached to that, we're going to have some ESXi hosts. I'm going to assume they're running at least 5.5. If you've got 5.0 or 5.1 hosts, ideally you would have brought these up to 5.5 already. Now, one of the uh, things as well to take into consideration is vSphere 6.7 will be the last release where we will support a Windows-based vCenter. So we're also going to use this opportunity to migrate to the vCenter server appliance. So again, before we begin, double check your hardware compatibility, double check your interoperability. You may need to upgrade other products in your environment before upgrading vCenter server. But let's assume that everything is good. So the first thing we will do, we will migrate to a vCSA. And we're going to choose VCSA 6.5, just in this example. Now again, you may have to go to VCSA 6.0, depending on your interoperability. Once we've upgraded our VCSA, or upgraded our Windows vCenter to VCSA 6.5, we can then upgrade our ESXi hosts to 6.5. Now, this is one of the points where hardware compatibility is important. You may have hardware that is not compatible with ESXi 6.5. For example, it may end its compatibility with ESX 6.0. In that sense, you would upgrade those hosts to 6.0. But taking the assumption that the hardware is supported on ESX 6.5, then we will upgrade it to 6.5. Now, from 6.5, we can go to 6.7. But before we do that, there's a couple of other caveats that we may want to look at. Um, in particular, it's making sure that there's no legacy 5.5 information in the environment. So we're going to kind of do a, a quick double check and make sure that there are VDS, our minimum 6.0. So if we've got distributed virtual switches, upgrade those to a minimum version of 6.0. Uh, we need to make sure we have no VMFS 3. So again, we would upgrade that to a minimum of VMFS 5. Make sure we've got no ESXi 5.5s in the environment. So make sure we have upgraded all our ESXi hosts to a minimum version of 6.0. Again, this is hardware dependent. If your hardware doesn't support 6.0, for example, if it does end its support lifecycle with 5.5, then you may have to look at retiring those ESXi hosts. And lastly, um, no 5.5 version host profiles. So to up, there's no direct upgrade of a host profile. So what you'll need to do is, whichever hosts are your reference hosts, just take new host profiles from those to ensure that they're captured at a 6.0 or later level. Now, before again, we go to 6.5. So we've checked some of the 5.5 legacy information. 
Now we need to double check our interop because there are a couple of first party products that will not be compatible with vSphere 6.7 at GA time. In particular, these are uh, VIO, VMware Integrated OpenStack, uh, VIC, uh, VMware Integrated Containers, NSX, and Horizon. So if you're running any of these products in your existing vSphere environment, you will need to hold off on upgrading to vSphere 6.7 until such time that the interoperability between vSphere 6.7 and these other VMware products has been uh, validated. And if you have third-party products in your environment, consult with the third-party vendor for guidance. So assuming that our hardware is supported, assuming that we don't have any interoperability gotchas, we can now upgrade the VCSA. to version 6.7. And once that's upgraded, we can then upgrade our ESXi hosts to 6.7. So just to run through the process again, um, just so we know the exact order. So the first thing is we're going to get off our Windows-based vCenter by doing a migration to a vCSA 6.5. After the vCenter has been migrated, we would upgrade our ESXi hosts. Then we'll do a second upgrade phase where we'll upgrade the vCenter server appliance to 6.7. And lastly, do our second upgrade of our ESXi hosts to 6.7. So that concludes this video on upgrading from vSphere 5.5 to vSphere 6.7, taking into account the hardware compatibility challenges we may face, ensuring there's no legacy 5.5 information in the environment, and ensuring that we don't break any interoperability between other products in our environment. Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.